ஹலோ எப்படி ஒன் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயின் சீ த ரெசிபி ஆஃப் மேக்கிங் ஸ்பெஷல் திண்டுக்கல் தலப்பா கட்டி பிரியாணி ஆர் ஜீரக சம்பா பிரியாணி யூசிங் இன்ஸ்டன்ட் பாட் ஹியர் ஐ ஹாவ் த்ரீ கப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஜீரா ரைஸ் ஆர் ஜீரக சம்பா ரைஸ் விச் இஸ் வெரி ஸ்மால் அண்ட் சைஸ் லைக் திஸ் அண்ட் வெரி ஃப்ளேவர்ஃபுல் ஐ சோக்ட் இட் ஃபார் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் ஹாஃப் அன் அவர் ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு மேக் இட் அஸ் மஷ்ரூம் திண்டுக்கல் தலப்பா கட்டி பிரியாணி யூ கேன் ரீப்ளேஸ் இட் வித் வெஜிடபிள் ஆர் மீட் For the masala, I have taken 15 small onions, garlic, ginger and 6 green chillies as shown. I am going to transfer it to a mixer jar and grind it into a square paste. The special thing about this talapakati biryani is every masala is homemade. No biryani masala or garam masala is used. Ginger, garlic, onion masala is now ready. Here I have some spices, cinnamon, cardamom, cloves. cashews and some stone flour and i'll assure you the cashews will not add any sweet taste to the biryani it will balance out the spices and give rich taste to the biryani and stone flour is like uh, optional it will give pakka talapa kate biryani taste grind all this into a fine powder as much you can masala sir now ready let's start making our instant pot talapa kate mushroom biryani in the instant pot switch on the starter mode and add 2 tsp of ghee and i'm adding 4 tbsp of peanut oil and let the oil gets heat up first i'm going to add the spice mixture powder roast it for a minute well and then add the onion ginger garlic ch- green chili paste and roast them for 3 to 4 minutes make sure the masala is not getting stick to the instant pot bottom so mix it well without taking your hands if you feel like it's sticking to the bottom just add some water and mix it well else we will get burn error once we change it to pressure cook mode so make sure whenever you are making any biryani or variety rice i am adding some water and mix it well again once the aroma starts coming out start adding mushrooms or vegetables of your choice here i am going to use whole lot mushrooms i would like to have mushrooms equal to the rice we are going to add so if you want you can reduce the quantity of the mushrooms saute the mushrooms well along with the masala so that it gets evenly coated on all mushrooms If you are looking for more instant pot recipes in future subscribe to our channel instant pot and favorites for more instant pot air fryer and baking recipes mushrooms are sauteed well now i am going to add the required salt add as per your taste mix well now i am going to add like quarter teaspoon of nutmeg powder this will give very unique flavor and it is in the original talapakati biryani recipe so if you have it add it else skip it it's not a big issue now i am adding 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder and 1 teaspoon of red chili powder this biryani will be very spicy if you want reduce the green chilies in the masala paste or reduce this red chili powder here i have thinly cut coriander leaves and mint leaves it's like around 1 cup i am adding it well and mix it and no tomatoes are usually added in this talapakati biryani recipe they will add curd for the sour taste now i am adding around 4 to 5 big ladle of curd it will come around 1 cup mix the curd well once mushrooms released more water so i am going to add 5 cups of water for 3 cups of rice ideally we will add 6 cups of water but because this is mushroom biryani it releases more water so i am just adding 5 cups of water and half lemon juice now add the soaked jeeraga sambar rice or kali jeera rice which is very small and flavorful mix it well at, until the bottom thing at this stage will avoid burning at the bottom now close the instant pot lid let's set the timer cancel the saute mode switch on the pressure cook mode and set the pressure to high pressure and time to 6 minutes uh, mine is already in low pressure so i am changing the pressure level to high pressure in pressure cook mode so 6 minutes on pressure cook mode so after 6 minutes and then resting it for 5 minutes we will release the pressure manually with a spoon once the pressure goes down i am going to open the instant pot lid our special dindakal talapakati mushroom biryani is now ready 
and look at the color and the spices i'm going to blend it now so rice is like separate and it is not broken or not stick to the bottom or burnt this is the perfect recipe to make talapa katti biryani using jeera sambar rice in instant pot do try this recipe and if you like it subscribe to our channel instant pot and favorites for more recipes